Well, it's fascinatingly poised. The top of the general classification features Greg Van Avermet. Of course, he's the man they all have to beat. This is the only man, really, who might be able to beat him. Fabian Cancellara out on the road. What can he do to threaten the time of Johan Le Bon? 11.21, he has to beat. We 20 seconds just under now to get to the finish line. He's within 150 metres. I think it's going to be enough. It should be reasonably comfortable. Gets out of his saddle now and just squeezes the last bit of effort out of his frame. And he's going to smash the time. 11.08. So 13 seconds better than Johan Le Bon. And if anyone is going to beat that time today, they're going to have to have the ride of their lives. What can Sagan do on this sharp, not overly technical, but short circuit? Pure power from Peter Sagan, if he can bring it to full effect today, could just win him the day. In this unfamiliar red jersey, time trialing or trying to time trial his way to a famous victory here. Of course, he hasn't managed to win a stage. He is the reigning world road race champion, sometimes cuts a frustrated figure, but he's riding brilliantly here. He'll take a provisional 11th place and a fantastic time of 11.32. So Sagan, quite comfortably, the provisional race leader as things stand. Greg Van Avermet takes the uh, countdown, the fingers count down, and this is what matters for him. Here we are, they're locked together provisionally. Greg Van Avermet and Peter Sagan. 11.40 is the target time for Van Avermet if he wants to win the race. Let's look at the clock now. He has 14 seconds to play with. Ticking over now, 11.30, just 10 seconds for Greg Van Avermet. Can he do it? He's within the last 100 metres on Tirreno Adriatico. 11.36, 30 he's going to do it. And he's going to do it by one second. Greg Van Avermet for BMC for Belgium takes a famous, famous win here in Tirreno Adriatico. Fabian Cancellara takes the stage. Johan Le Bon in second place, a great ride from him. There we are, confirmation of what we told you, Greg Van Avermetz wins Tirreno Adriatico by the slenderest of margin, just one second to his old rival, Peter Sagan. The win on stage seven, the individual time trial of Tirreno Adriatico. Of course, a race he's won in another guise outright, but here, back to his brilliant best. Yet another win for Fabian Cancellara. And he's demonstrated just how strong he is today by fending off the challenge of Bob Jungels and Peter Sagan, Zdenek Stubar, to take a really memorable win. The blue jersey back on his shoulders then. Greg Van Avermet, the winner of Tirreno Adriatico, Namitsport 2016.